the eyeball tattoo, or the scleral tattoo. It's really popular amongst a small subset of the body modification crowd. However, when I made my short video last week, I received so many questions and comments and personal emails that I thought it's important that I expand upon the complications and the potential pitfalls of having an eyeball tattoo. Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. And in 37 years of practice, I'm starting to see some body modification that could be quite striking, yet quite dangerous. And the eyeball tattoo falls into that category. We're going to discuss how it's done, where the ink is placed, what type of an ink it has to be, and what are the complications of getting a scleral tattoo, because the complications could be quite severe. Let's look at the anatomy of the eye. First, we have the conjunctiva. Excuse me, it's conjunctiva. Yes, I know. It depends on where you are. In Boston, it's conjunctiva. LA, it's conjunctiva. Brooklyn, it's conjunctiva. But it's all the same thing. That fine film that you see on the outside of the eye. It's less than a millimeter thick but it has a lot of important functions. It's protective. It protects the eye from bacterial, viral, and fungal infections. It protects the eye from debris that might be just in our atmosphere. It's also part of our tear production, keeping the eye not only protected, but moist. Just below the conjunctiva, we have the sclera, or the white of the eye. The sclera has the iris in it, which is the colored part of your eye. And it has a lot of blood supply. It's much thicker than the conjunctiva, but still very delicate. And part of the function of the sclera is really to form the body of the eye and to protect the delicate anatomy inside of the eye, including the retina. When we're talking about problems associated with scleral or eyeball tattoos, they really fall into two avenues. The first being administration problems. And the second being problems that might arise from the ink itself being placed in an area of the eye that's really not supposed to have this foreign substance in it. Let's talk about placement issues. To do that, we're going to discuss how a surgeon works versus how a tattoo artist works. The surgeon has the patient sedated. The patient's head is also restrained, decreasing significantly the amount of voluntary movement that the patient can do. The eye would be anesthetized. The eyelids would be held open by eyelid clamps. There would be sterile surgical drapes, surgical gown and gloves, and sterile instruments. The ophthalmologist, when operating on the eye, is not going to be using their naked eye to visualize their field. They're going to have some form of optics, be it a microscope or some type of a loop that's magnifying their visual field. And that's done for accuracy. Let's compare this with a tattoo artist doing a scleral tattoo. He's trying to place the ink just below that delicate conjunctiva and just above the sclera. The patient's not anesthetized, the eye is not anesthetized, there's no restraint preventing movement, and he's placing a very sharp but small needle in this little space and then injecting the ink. Any inadvertent movement by anyone could cause that needle to easily puncture that sclera, damaging the internal structures of the eye and in all likelihood causing blindness. Yes, that's happened. People have actually had to have an eye removed secondary to a scleral tattoo. So there are significant dangers just from placement of the ink. Now let's discuss some of the things that could happen from the ink being in that little space. First, the ink has to be diluted, significantly diluted with saline. We have a Canadian model who had her boyfriend, a tattoo artist, place blue ink into her eye. He didn't dilute it and he used too big of a needle. He damaged the globe, 
he damaged the sclera, she created a fistula. In other words, the puncture that the needle made never closed. So now she seeps out blue tears. She lost vision in the eye. And there's even a potential that the eye might have to be removed or enucleated. That's one problem. Second, the ink itself might cause a chronic irritation and inflammation of the eye. Anybody who's ever woken up with conjunctivitis knows how miserable that is. The eye feels gritty, it's itchy, it doesn't feel good at all, blinking hurts. All of these things could occur and unfortunately you're stuck with it, can't get the ink out. Another thing is the potential to get infection. You're now placing a foreign object in the eye that may or may not be sterile. And if you get an infection in the eye and it's bacterial, well, that's usually fairly easy to treat. However, viral infections and worse, fungal infections could be another story entirely. It could also cause allergic reactions. An allergic reaction in the eye is quite serious because the treatment might include steroids and steroids are a known cause of cataract formation. So you could develop early cataracts. The ink around the eye could involve those tiny little muscles in the back of the eye. Those muscles are very important. Not only are they important for eye movement and maintaining a proper pointing of your pupils so your pupils are both equal and at their exact same direction, but they're important for maintaining a pressure on the sclera of the eye. If they're damaged or the ink involves them somehow, you could start to change the pressure in your globe and you could start to change your vision. You could go blind by a condition called amblyopia. In other words, if one eye suddenly shifts and it's not in line and in focus with the other eye, your brain is eventually going to stop taking information from that eye. And that would essentially be a blind eye. It could also cause pressure internally and cause a retinal detachment. When you have a retinal detachment, you lose a visual field immediately and it has to be surgically reattached and it doesn't always work. So just the pressure from that ink being outside the eye could change the internal pressure to a point you lose your retina and subsequently significantly alter, if not lose your vision. Furthermore, you see those big blood vessels in the sclera? If that needle should puncture those blood vessels, they're going to bleed relatively uncontrollably under the conjunctiva. And you're going to get a subconjunctival hemorrhage. There are also significant social stigmas with this. It is quite a striking change when you get a scleral tattoo. And society is really not ready for it. In fact, society just got accustomed to regular tattoos. I've seen it in my own patients. I used to get people all the time with tattoos that they were losing their job over. And it wasn't bad tattoos. I had nurses with little flowers on their fingers losing hospital positions. I don't see that anymore. But if somebody comes in with green sclera or blue sclera or yellow sclera, it's striking. So you have to prepare yourself mentally for every day of your life having someone come up and ask what that is. Why did you do that? That scares me. That doesn't look good. Oh, that looks beautiful. It's going to have some significant social impacts, but you have to think about that. And most of all, it's not reversible. You can't take this out. And unlike a regular tattoo, it can't be lasered. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you could take a laser and laser your eye. It's a beautiful way to go blind. You cannot remove it surgically and you cannot remove it with a laser. So if you have any complications or you decide, geez, I don't like my eyes looking this way anymore, you can't do anything about it, which is really, really a major potential complication. I hope this gave a better understanding of what a scleral or eyeball tattoo is and what the potential consequences are. If it's something you want to do, really think twice about it because it could be very dangerous and it's going to really affect your life, both physically, 
mentally, socially, and possibly even economically. Because I would imagine, just like the old days with tattoos, it might be very hard to find gainful employment if you look so strikingly different. Take care. Have a good day.